2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat Review. Most powerful SUV ever. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. We knew it was only a matter of time before the 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat became a thing. Stellantis has already shoved that ubiquitous supercharged V8 into the engine bays of its sedans, so putting that same motor into Dodge's largest vehicle was inevitable. Unfortunately, the Durango Hellcat will only last one model year, blame more stringent fuel emissions regulations. But in that one year, this vehicle brings a lot to the table. With 710 horsepower and 645 pound-foot, a whopping three more horses than the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, the Durango Hellcat is the most powerful SUV on the planet. It will sprint to 60 in a mind-bending 3.5 seconds and go on to a top track speed of 180 miles per hour. And with all that power the Durango Hellcat brings some new technology to the table plus some fresh interior touches. All in all, this is a fantastic SUV for the family that wants to go fast. Anonymous is probably the best way to describe the styling of the Dodge Durango Hellcat. Unless you really know what you're looking for, Hellcat badges, additional cooling vents, and wheels, the average consumer probably wouldn't be able to distinguish the high-performance model from its base sibling, at least not visually. Our tester wears a subtle white knuckle paint job, which isn't nearly as cool as it sounds, and trim-specific 20-inch wheels that are pretty tame, and that's about it. That said, anonymity sort of makes sense here. The Durango Hellcat is still a three-row crossover first and foremost, meaning it needs to blend into grocery store parking lots and school pickup lines without looking too outrageous. You can get it with racing stripes if you're feeling especially, um, racy, either $1,195 or $1,295 for the redline option, but the sleeper look suits the Durango Hellcat well. The cabin experience doesn't feel all that different from a normal Durango, either. Dodge touts a new driver-centric layout, a nicer 10.1-inch touchscreen, and more solid materials for 2021, like leather and carbon fiber. And all Durangos receive more attractive interior styling as part of a 2021 facelift. Although there are still some obvious cheap pieces, like the knobs and indicator switches, which feel flimsy for a $75,000 SUV. For a 710 HP, track-capable vehicle, the Durango Hellcat has a surprisingly nice ride. This suspension soaks up imperfections well and the cushy sport buckets, wearing $1,595 Laguna leather, in this case, do a good job of buffering your butt and back from any bumps in the road. Engine noise aggressively penetrates the cabin, obviously, but road and tire noise remain at a minimum otherwise. The Durango has plenty of cabin space, too. The 39.9 inches of front headroom and 40.3 inches of front legroom are solid, and even with the driver-centric layout, the front compartment feels spacious. The Ford Explorer is better with 40.7 inches of headroom and 43.0 inches of legroom, as is the Chevrolet Tahoe with 41.3 inches of headroom and 41.0 inches of legroom. But neither of those alternatives have a 700 horsepower option, so.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.